Okay, I am back. Um, it's been a few weeks, and uh, instead of doing a video for um, Monster Bash, I thought I'd just give a quick update on another project that is uh, ClicoVision related. Um, I uh, ran into an SD problem <coughs> excuse me, on uh, Monster Bash for the moment where I have to likely remap most of the uh, sprite uh, graphics because I ran it out of memory and uh, was using two different character sets with two sprite banks and um, I was actually just copying a lot of the same sprites from one to the other uh, for the player movements and stuff and uh, just wasted a lot of memory so kind of a dumb move on my behalf but uh, that will slow down the project just a little bit but other than that uh, uh, one of the big things that will also need that I would need for uh, Monster Bash is uh, <clears throat> for uh, uh, you know for the game to be done would be music and sound effects so I started uh, thinking of the old um, uh, tracker software for like the, the Amiga computer and thought it'd be fun to start build maybe a uh, ColecoVision tracker um, so I got this is really more just kind of like a proof of concept at this point <coughs> Um, but I've been writing this in uh, C sharp over the last uh, couple days, and uh, here it is. Um, so basically, if you're familiar with the old uh, tracker software, you know you'll notice the uh, you know the spreadsheet type effect, you know, assist the layout here of the notes. Um, some of the things I did to try and help the you know, uh, person writing the music out is uh, here are the actual keys on the keyboard, on the piano keyboard, and then uh, if you click on it, it translates to what the shortcuts would be on your computer keyboard to get that same note. Uh, so hopefully that will help. Um, and this is a uh, pattern based. Um, I still have a lot of research to do on the Coleco um, sound uh, format, um, but uh, I was thinking. <clears throat> of using the same pattern concept that these mod trackers use where your music is comprised of a bunch of patterns each and each pattern has its own specific set a number of um, uh, notes and then you just kind of play them back and you know let them go <clears throat> that way oh sorry I tell the thing to postpone um, so anyways yeah that's it um, you know the idea is to just simply have a nice little tracker to make your own music um, I right now at the moment I haven't programmed in a wave bank yet for the Coleco music for the Coleco sounds. So right now instead I wired it up, uh, programmed it up to um, uh, run the notes out of the uh, MIDI um, uh, on the computer. And surprisingly, I think it sounds pretty good. Um, I took the time. I found on uh, YouTube someone posted a couple of videos of some of the uh, songs from Metroid. So uh, here is one of the songs actually running off of this uh, with the MIDI, but um, uh, the goal would be to get this to hopefully, <coughs> uh, you know, output the uh, the uh, data, the uh, music data that you need in the Coleco format. So that way, the goal would be to share this tool with the community and uh, let anyone who wants to try and write music and help with uh, game creation, you know, give other people the ability to. Uh, write music and uh, hopefully do it in a you know some in a fashion that they're more used to instead of plugging all the notes in um, into uh, assembly. So okay, here is uh, just a sample of what this looks like, just to show that uh, it is working. Okay, Oops. so just as I said, just wanted to show it off. Um, I'll keep my uh, progress going and keep everyone posted.
you know where we are on this and um, hopefully in the next uh, few weeks I'll have something that I can share with everyone um, and uh, you know then also I'll give another couple more videos on uh, how to use it and explain you know how to use some of the uh, pattern stuff over here um, so you know like as you saw that's pattern one um, if I go over here there's pattern two pattern three of the music and then all you do is once you set up your patterns and you assign all the notes over here in the sequencer you say I want to repeat pattern one four times, pattern two two times, pattern three I uh, can't make that out, that's four times and then pattern you know and so on uh, and again anyone who's ever used an Amiga tracker um, would uh, should be pretty familiar with a lot of these concepts um, I'm assuming the ColecoVision probably doesn't accept music in this format which is fine because uh, behind the uh, scenes when it uh, renders out the uh, actual Cleco uh, patterns I can uh, uh, the Cleco notes I can uh, write something that will handle and you know convert this stuff properly over uh, the other thought that I thought would be really cool is I might try and actually add an output for MIDI because potentially you could write a song on this thing and um, <coughs> output and uh, I'll put the uh, music as a MIDI so potentially anyone writing Clico music could also uh, turn their music into a ringtone for their cell phone um, which would be kind of cool uh, as far as I know most cell phones still play MIDI's uh, I'm not sure if that's the case anymore but if so I, I figure that's kind of a cool bonus okay um, I'll keep everyone posted how it goes and uh, take care Bye.